back to Attingham Park and a very realistic way to start a video with our Fent Katana just completely crushing the crops. Um, so, as you'll see, we have got a field of corn which is finally ready to chop. So, we've leased a 9 meter Kemper header, we've leased the Fent Katana, and we've leased the uh, multi baler. Oh, where are you going? Right, the multi baler, which is not turned on like an idiot. Ah, there we go. Now, yeah, I'm incredibly conscious that. We're going to make a lot of lot a lot of lot of bales. Let me know in the comments who that was, or meant to be. Um, so we've gone for a bright yellow wrap, and yeah, we're just going to have to go as far as we can before they start to get in the way. But uh, yeah, it's quite cool to be finally using this bit of kit. Now our other cornfield is a stage behind this, so ooh, cool. um, So we may or may not um, do this process again, we might just harvest it for corn, or I need to have a think see if there's something else we could potentially do with the either forage maybe maybe we could sell it put it through our um, farm shop sell anything feed place would be an idea but this is working so so well now I could have got a um, forage harvester words um, that would have towed it and it would have just spat it directly into the back but I thought what are we going to do <laughs> so yeah we are falling behind come on keep up there we go so I've set it to four headlands I think just to give ourselves plenty of space to turn but yeah I do like this bit of kit so money wise we were up to when we got into the first part of August just over a hundred grand and you see obviously now we're at 68,000 so the milk is covering the leasing costs which is pretty cool to be fair we are finally in a place where I guess we're breaking even we're getting, we've got leasing costs, we've got repair costs but uh, yeah we are starting to turn a bit of a profit I was actually tempted to possibly get a few more cows but uh, I think we will see and just hold off on that a little bit but uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I will plod on. We will do a bit more. And uh, we'll catch up probably when we're picking up. When, well, I think we're going to have to lease a, um, what do you call it, bale loader. Just for speed. Um, I'll get these down to the yard, get them stored. But yeah, we'll catch up in a little bit.
Well, we've already made 30 four bales, which no, seems a lot to me. Um, I wasn't expecting it to fill the uh, baler quite as quick as it is, but not moaning about that at all. I did have to buy some more maize silage. We did run out. Um, so this, again, is going to save us money. So that's good. You'll have seen at the start the little clips I was messing around with the billable pallets that come with maize plus just to put some of the hay pellets in put some of the ccm in it just so it kind of is there to be sold so you know between episodes i might put the odd box of that in there and you know do do a bit like that i mean the ccm is all processed the hay pellets are still going so it's um yeah i don't want it to be too involved but also want you to know where the cash is coming from so I think the plan is to finish picking up this Lowe's worth which would be a rather good idea um, and then take this to the yard and I think we'll probably put these um, by the other grass silage or the grass silage we've got in the yard just for now and then when the time comes when it's fermented we can then shift it round to the arm oh, with the hay in and that if we need it but we'll see how we get on so I will finish this up and I will see you in a little bit so we are now six days later in real life um, from when I started this job and uh yeah things are going really well haha <laughs> not um so first load is here on the left put the second load down unloaded it and it just exploded um not sure why um but i'll sort it later on so what we need to do is jump back into the fence and Let's just check where we are. So let's just go for it, I think. No, that's not right. I think that would work. So if we take away that and just turn on a second so we're on that waypoint. Wowzers, that is loud. And then if we start it off again, it's going to wait. There we go. We can now jump back into the McCormick and crack on making some more maize bale maize bales. So not wanting to uh, jinx things. Apart from the bale explosion <laughs> back at the yard, this is going rather smoothly. I quite like this setup. It's um a nice easy way to do it there's no compacting of the uh, chopped maize or the fresh maize in the silo the bales are easy to handle with the uh, the bale collector it's just a nice easy job um auto drive is really uh not what to drive course plate even is doing a cracking job i think plenty of headlands is the key and yeah this uh, I don't know what you call it multi baler is just brilliant I love it and like I say we are churning out the bales rather rapidly so I do the turn uh, without the cruise control because that's a little bit slower um, and then just stick it back on and we're plodding along behind the fence just wrapping and yeah getting ourselves a rather decent stock of may silage um i think we're gonna have more than we need um which is not a bad thing clearly uh i think we've got what are we on episode 39 now i reckon probably around the 50 mark we're gonna end this 
series. Uh, yeah, I think that's a decent point to stop. Um, kind of want to be able to use the area that we've set up with our for our feeds and stuff. And yeah, but I think yeah, like I say, fifty probably is where we're going to end the series. Not sure what we're going to replace it with, if anything. Um, I'd like to do more on Edgewater. Um, and clearly the Oaks is still going strong. Well, it's going strong from my point of view anyway. Um, so yeah, I think episode 50 is where we will end Attingham Park. So I think what we're going to do, instead of trying to store all of these bales at the yard and potentially causing ourselves well, one issues with them exploding everywhere and two possibly a bit of lag I think what we're going to do is build one of the uh, bale storage sheds I probably the just well it will be the Giants one because I haven't got anything else installed but I'm thinking down by the BGA is a good place so we've already got several stacks of uh, grass silage down there so we may need to move those but we own that bit of land and I think what we could do is once they're all once these are fermented we can go and grab a load out store them at the yard when we need them and then if we have excess ones we can always put them through the BGA I think let's just double check my statement BGA yeah May silage there we go so that's run out oh it's full so we can put that to sell in which means we'll get a nice bit of cash which is good um so yes I think that's the plan so once we've finished up chopping the maize and making the bales we'll start to uh shift them down to the BGA area build the bale storage and then we can just chuck them in there and leave them to ferment. So we've just hit 100 bales off of this field. So that's 550,000 litres of maize silage, which sounds an awful lot. I know we've got the silage additive in, but all good. And the other thing about this as well is we don't get any um, losses when it comes to it's disappearing out of the bunker and uh, there's no risk of it sticking and all that lot so you know the giant's bug where you can't get your silage out and all that jazz so yeah loving this idea what's that 101 it's ridiculous I like it it's um and I'm also half tempted to do the other field like this and just ferment them, store them and then stick them through the BGA I think, maybe, I don't know it's worth uh, it's worth the time and the effort possibly but uh, yeah I need to have a think about that one right, I'll get this field finished up and uh, I'll see you when we start to load them into our bale shed so down at our newly built bale storage shed Bing, um, tucked it up this corner, done a bit of landscaping, and hopefully this all goes to plan. Yes, look at that, marvellous. There we go. Oh, last one, super. So we can jump out now. And bear in mind, I've never used this before, so I guess it displays. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-four out of 250 and it tells us what it is so very very handy deform the ground a bit at the sides but we've got no use for this bit say so, sort of smoothed and softened this put the dirt in and uh, jobs are good in so i think i'll probably grab the ones from the yard next um and then uh, clear the field so i'll uh, see you in a second so this is the final full load cleared the yard and we've got eight bales left in the field and I'm thinking to myself 
do I dare tackle this? <laughs> if we got a hundred, I think we got 104 bales off of the uh, field we've just done. So, you know, wasn't the biggest of fields. This is, I would say, three times as big. Um, I'm not sure whether just to like do the headlands maybe and then let the rest grow for corn. I think. I think we will. Yeah, we're going to do we'll do the headlands and then the rest will just be harvested normally, I guess you'd say. I think that is going to be the plan for that because like I said, anything we don't use can go through the BGA. It's nice and close. When I was clearing the yard, I thought, should I have put it in the new sort of production area, but it's a big shed. Um and I don't think it really would have fitted um i've left one the first stack that we did that didn't explode everywhere i have left that in the yard i thought there's no point picking that up we can leave them to ferment there and we'll use them when they're ready so eight more bales to collect and then uh, jobs are good in you'll notice the money's gone up so the electric charge has sold I always get confused the electric charge has sold so turn that back onto storing and we're now processing the slurry again so that's all good everything else is fine we just need the rain to pass and then we can start to uh, prep the field for the next crop to go in so just loading up with strawberries and our potatoes we do have plenty of spuds in the bunker still so we're going to get these sold or put into the uh i don't know what you yeah simulate them being available for people to sell there we go they're gonna go down nicely Let's turn the straps off because that does my head in with the clicking. You'll see I move some across. I don't know if I showed that actually. Um, just so we can sell those and people can pick what they want. That's going to just bring the money back up ever so slightly. There we go. Nearly four grand. Jobs are good. And I'm uh, quite liking having to load the uh, pallets manually i guess it is really um i was hoping that i could fill them from the production but yeah quite like the idea of having to get the trailer and or maybe we could do it with a bucket on the front of the merlot maybe but yeah i think um i like the having to put the effort in which is not something i'd normally say and also, let me just tab back to... can't quite see from here, but... There are patches on the corners where, obviously, course play misses bits on corners... That I haven't been and collected. So, you know... Yay me. I didn't have... My OCD is... <laughs> it's kicking in a little bit, but... I need to get better at that. And it wouldn't have made another bail. As you can see, we got 50%... Um, of a hopper so yeah it's not going to transpire to a full bale so no point um so we're going to keep these um on lease yeah it's going to cost us but we'll get a milk payment in the morning at six o'clock and we've got all our produce that we can be putting through our selling facility um and our feeds our not it's not feed lot but our feeds business so, yeah, I'm not too stressed about the cash either. Um, I've enjoyed that. That's worked really well. Need this rain to clear off before we can start turning this field around and deciding what crop to put in. We've got grass to cut. Um, so whether we... I think probably do that for silage, maybe. Maybe a bit more hay. We'll maybe do a mix. But that's next time. So, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Take care.